Hey, what's up, guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkuche, and I'm at the Port A jetties getting the GoFish camera out there. And I, I love slowing down the cast just to see what's happening as it's going out. It's just pretty awesome with what the camera will catch during flight and stuff like that. And you know, it's pretty cool to see the whole jetty. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so as you can tell, the GoFish camera landed in some pitch dark and uh, yeah it's pretty tough to see anything so i went through most of the footage and you can see a little bit of the action right there i guess it landed behind a rock or something like that and you can't really see the hook so i went through most of it cut out the really dark areas because i mean though you can hear that something was messing with the bait you know pretty much immediately once it landed and stuff like that but it wasn't nothing big it was just you know a bunch of little bait fish or maybe debris hitting it you couldn't really see anything other than right here where you can actually see a fish coming in and out of the camera um, from that small little area that you can see now the other thing too I had put the bait cameras out during the day and you know turned on the light and other times that during the day and left the light off so on this one I didn't put the light on because I wanted to see what it would look like and I thought I would have enough time to pull it in and throw it back out with the light on so that way we see if it made a difference but I had also remembered when I was throwing them in the jetties that when it was bright and sunny outside it didn't need the light which helped because it allowed the camera to run longer and catch more footage and stuff like that so I mean this is kind of a tough thing to, to play with and try to do you know fishing in deep water with and without any light it really does make a difference on what you can catch but at the same time too even if there's light I mean, you can see that fish just taunting the camera you know if it falls behind something you know there's just lighter on or off you all you're gonna see is this so yeah that fish is sitting there eyeballing he's like i see you <laughs> you know <laughs> so i'm gonna edit out all the blackness and stuff so this is about um, about 10 minutes into the film is when this fish actually showed up and started pegging at the camera that we can actually see something but I'm gonna keep going and keep editing through and taking out any pitch black just because I mean it's kind of oh it's kind of scary because you don't know what's actually happening and uh, also too you know I'm gonna do some videos where you actually can see some kind of action you know and it's just one of them things but uh i think that's a trigger fish is what's coming up and messing with the bait just by the uh kind of the shape of the head and the, the shape of the tail end so we'll see i'll keep recording and keep editing and get it going
Well, as you can see, the light of the water from the sun is actually good enough for us to see what's going on. And man, there's a lot of trigger fish out there. There's some piggy perch, some very nice sized piggy perch, as you can tell. This was about a seven inch pony mullet that I had casted out. And yeah, these fish are good size. Just waiting for something monster to come by and swoop up this mullet so that way we can really uh, see how it's going to go and catch it on film.